Hello, I want to give a little tour of the condominium we got through Airbnb right here in the Ashihara district of Osaka. It is near the Ashihara Bashi train station of the Loop Line, so it is a very convenient location. But I want to give uh, an impression of the condominium here. This is a fairly brand new unit, and that's one of the reasons we love this unit. And, and, and that's number two. Number one is the host. So my goal of this video is to show the condominium in action. You know how we are using it. That's why you know you see a lot of mess. So as you can get as you get in, there's a genkan here. You take up your shoes, and then the condominium came with um, slippers. And you change into those slippers to go inside the unit or you know just take off your shoes but make sure those um, you know socks that you're wearing uh, have not been outside you know it's a Japanese thing and we want to respect that there is a refrigerator here summertime so we need to make sure we have cold drinks freezer microwave oven and then percolator for hot water our recyclables we're still trying to figure out where to put them but you know we're only going to be here for about five nights sink a little cooking area and these are the sundries kitchen stuff plates switches for the fan and the light I think this is the fan and then oh this is the light this is the fan and you have your plug here in the Genkan area there's also another plug so you know plugs are very important nowadays because of our devices or gadgets you have books here so let me walk in the unit came with four uh, beds plus one sofa bed so double deckers this double deck is about oh maybe about 30 34 inches american inches english measurements 34 um inches uh, wide the reason i mentioned that is because um i wanted to make a point of comparison between this and the um let's see capsule hotel that we stayed at which is the 9hr 9 hour or 9h uh in shinjuku in tokyo and i must say that the um that the capsule hotel has wider beds even wider than these i think these are ikea i'm not sure ikea um, uh, bunk beds and they are very comfortable the only thing is that you know uh it's not as uh, wide as the uh, capsule hotels you see the hanging clothes it's because we have laundry and there's no dryer this is a dryer you dry our clothes here and we have to do this every day why because it's so hot by the time we come back we have uh, clothes that are drenching with in, in sweat so that's why we had to wash clothes and you know when you go to Japan you pack light because when you go home you have a lot of souvenirs to carry but that's our strategy you know it's case to case person personal preference so this is the unit like I said, this is the unit in action. We wanted to show how the unit is being utilized um, typically by a family. We are a family of four. The two kids are um, teens. So, you know, they're full size, adult size. It's one of them. And this is a cute unit. Air conditioning is there, very powerful. This is a terrace. And Another interesting um, feature of this unit is that, you know, when each sleeping space has these, a lamp and then plug. That's very important nowadays because of our devices. We need to make sure that the devices are plugged in and charged all the time. Our host also provided us with a projector. Again, this is a modern take on entertainment why because you don't watch TV anymore you watch YouTube you watch your videos you watch 
you know, streaming, um, st streaming media. Uh, my son's a basketball fan, so we had to make sure that, you know, he can watch his uh, NBA games online through this. Just hook up your device, and then the um, the content can be seen on this wall right here. So it is not it is not big but it's quite comfortable and this is also the perspective in relation to large luggages that a typical American family would bring along I don't know we are first timers here so we have uh, the 29 inch um, luggages we have two and then we have two carry-ons and then uh, we also have backpacks we put our backpacks on bed with us this is our Wi-Fi. I call it the salvation survival device for the kids. Without this, the kids will be unsatisfied with the stay. We carry this everywhere. Whenever we are uh, outside sightseeing, the only problem is that we don't, you know, the power. It's it comes with a rechargeable battery, so we need to make sure that it is always charged. So. We stayed in two Airbnb units in this trip, and both of them did not provide. Actually, the other one provided one wall outlet, but this one here only came with this with no USB, no portable battery. So, you know, when you're outside and you are beaming the internet portable, it's okay. But once, you know, around 4 p.m., 3, 4, 5 p.m., when you leave early, maybe about you know it lasts for about five hours six hours after that it runs out so you cannot you cannot get internet so you have to make sure you have portable um, charger for these this coffee table was sitting here when we got here we just push it to the side you got the closet extra linen and you got the vacuum and then a little ironing board enough to you know iron, iron your um, one or two pieces of clothes clothing this plastic container has other things like the um, flat iron and I don't know the others but you know supplies for the household and let me show you outside of the porch that's where we hang things to dry much quicker and it's hidden you know it, it's Japan no one will steal it in the US this would have been stolen even if it's hidden you know but here, we're on the seventh floor, it's right there, it stays there, it doesn't go anywhere. Storage-wise, we have these cabinets up above. I don't know what they are. They have, I think it's empty. You know, you have to be told to reach them because there's nothing to step on here. The host had this bar suspended from the ceiling so we can hang clothes on them. Time to go to the laundry room. Actually, this is the laundry and the bathroom. In the US, we have been used to Whirlpool and Korean brands washing machine. Here's Japanese. This is Panasonic. Pretty much explanatory, but if you have any questions, you know the signs, even if they're not in English, just, you know, use the Google Translate app and use the camera to translate what they say. I know this is turn it on, this is start pause, you know, start the wash, pause it, and then start again. This is our sink, and this is our toilet. Again, this is pretty modern, so the toilet is nice, you know, with the, with the buttons. But, you know, for some reason, there's no heating, there's no heat uh, control here. For some reason, this is always hot, I don't know why. And then this is the shower room. Good thing about uh, Japanese. First, you know, this is small. It's hard to describe it, but this is a small shower room, but it's quite comfortable. There's a bath here. It's supposed to be like a onsen. You know, you sit there and then you soak. You sit with your knees folded and you soak in uh, hot water. And the switch here, you know, the left one, this one is temperature, the other one is 
Where do you want the water go? to go? Here or here? Which is the shower. So we shower standing, so we do the shower. But occasionally, sometimes we use this, the, the faucet. So you can go here, or you can slide. You can slide it over there, right there, for the tub, in case you want to do a bath instead of shower. And look at this. While showering, you can see yourself in the mirror. Airbnb units come with the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I think that's a body wash right there. And yeah, soap container. So you know, this is a uh, all made by by a company called Toto. They make uh, they make high tech toilets. They also make shower stalls. You do it here like this, and it locks up and it's sealed. You know, water tight. The water doesn't come out here. So someone, one member of the family can be showering. Another one will be right here in the sink. And hot water, no problem. Just use this switch. By the time we came here, it's already turned on. But this is the switch for hot water. In Japan, hot water supply in the bathroom, a shower room, has to be turned on or off by a switch like this. In the US, we go to the water heater, water tank in the garage or somewhere outside of the living quarters or area or inside the closet in older homes in order to turn on the hot water. These are, I think, switches for, uh, for the fan here in the bathroom then light switches you know pretty pretty useful japan uses 120 110 or 100 volt i think so our 110 devices are pretty much compatible here these are what do you need for washing clothes i love this that's the laundry detergent look at that you can tell if, even if you cannot read Japanese or you can translate this on Google uh, translate but look at this uh, you can tell because uh, the cap resembles you know a little scoop with the spout just like what we have uh, in the US so that's pretty much it for the our condo here uh, in Osaka it's pretty nice I, I must say and one thing about the, the host is that um, he provided us with a very good customer service or a concierge i must say because i lost my camera initially and he was the one who helped us out um, I'll call around all the stations we went through to find the camera eventually i got my lost camera and happy person all right that's about it i hope you like this video tour of our condo here in osaka today is um july the 17th 2017 Summer, summertime.